Greetings engineers, Brelin here from Great Bee Gaming and welcome to episode 4 of Age of Engineering. And guys, my, my smeltery's gone. All my chests are gone. It's all gone. What's been happening? Well, uh, I went mining and I had a little bit of extra of something. So I've created this. Ta-da! This is the Tower of the Ages. So let's have a look, shall we? So the basic premise of this place here is first floor, I have storage over here, thanks to these lovely storage drawers. A couple of wooden crates over here, which just some random stuff that I've put in. Uh, I'll probably have it sorted in there. It's pretty bad. It's not really, you know, symmetric and all that kind of stuff. There's still a bunch of stuff I need to do in there. Uh, and I can't make the slave modules and the master stuff and everything, so that's going to be done a little bit later. I have crafting tables on every side. Over here, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this one. Um, it might be storage number two once we get like advanced storage stuff or something. But I'm, I'm not really sure at this point what I'll be doing with this uh, area here. If you guys have any suggestions... Uh, those who've played the pack, what I could do. I'm open to hearing it. Uh, there's no basement right now, but there will be later. And the idea is every room is an age. So over here, we have the Stone Age. So the Stone Age is everything I created uh, to get to the next age. So I have my smeltery here, all set up and automated. I have a little bit of iron ingots. Uh, I've stopped producing ingots with this right now because there's no ore doubling. So I'm going to just make the bare minimum that I need. So I have all my ores in here uh, that I've been getting. I also have a lot of crystal oil. You can see here 12, 12, 12, uh, 5, and 12. So I need to empty these guys out from time to time. And we'll get something to help us with that. Uh, later on. So I have three coke ovens and my little tinker's setup is right over here. To the other side, we have the industrial age. With our little tro I don't have any trophy for the stone age. That's just too bad. But anyway, uh, I might put something here that looks trophy-like. Uh, if you guys know what I could put here, I'd be pretty interested. I've thought maybe a, like a cobblestone slab and just something else on top of it uh, for the Stone Age, but we will see. So here is going to be where we're going to be working for our Industrial Age today. And uh, I ran out of materials, so <laughs> I couldn't go any further. Uh, I'm going to work on that in between episodes, just stacking them up. I don't know if that is enough space. So, uh, Stone Age, you know, this place is pretty full right now. Industrial Age, I don't know what I'll need. So, this might be like a reverse pyramid over time, whereas the ages just need more and more space. Also, using uh, the outside. So, you can see in front here, I have a little balcony here. So, that if, when I get a jetpack, I can actually get here uh, a lot faster. Uh, and I'll be doing the same on every side. I just close it off here for now. And on the back here, we'll be setting up our farms and all these extensive areas that need a lot of space. So guys, we need to work in our industrial age. So if we look at our guide here, age of engineering, we need to create a calculator for the next age. So if we look at calculator, and I, I've been asking for a couple of hints, not telling me what to do, but just hints on where to go. And this is what we need to create. And what I've been told is the age that you're in tells you what you're supposed to do. So this is the industrial age. Industrial age tells me industrial craft. So I see too, uh, tech reborn and all that kind of stuff. So if we look at industrial craft, and we see what we can actually start to produce here. Uh, if I go to the standard generator, we have here a battery, iron plates, uh, and a furnace. 
So batteries, uh, 10 cable, which is just 10 with a cutter. A cutter is just plates, and for now, plates, you know, you can do the whole metal press. I'm not sure I can even build that right now. Uh, but I can create, I believe, yes, with a forge hammer, two iron ingots gives me one iron plate. So I have a way right now of creating a generator for power. Uh, this produces EU, right? They, they haven't all merged to RF or Tesla, or I'm not really sure. I think it's still the EU process, so we'll, we'll look at that. Uh, if I look at everything else, solar, yeah, solar is not going to get done right now. Uh, can I do, oh, just a generator, iron casings, which is just plate and a forge hammer. And yeah, that should be doable too. Uh, Sterling generator is power tier two. So I'll see maybe about making that. Uh, oh, water mill. Huh, okay. So what I want is I want to see if I can get some ore doubling here. Uh, you need an IC2, something called a macerator. Those that are coming from my uh, material energy natural capital know that I have made... Oh, it looks a lot different. Uh, oh. Okay. Block cutting blade. Okay, it's just diamond. That's pretty easy. And electronic circuit. It's just iron plate, redstone, and some copper wire. So very easy to do. Ooh, I have been collecting some sticky resin. If you guys have seen over there, uh, it used to be next to my work area, but <laughs> I've moved everything over here. Uh, yeah, everything is pretty far away now. I'll have to move all of this somewhere closer. But anyway, I do have a lot of sticky resin. You can see here that I have 62 of it. Uh, for now, you can get better uh, yield of rubber from sticky resin if you do uh, usage. I'm trying to remember what the machine is. Alloy extractor. So let's see if we can start with an extractor and save us a lot of resin gathering st stuff here. Yeah, basic machine casing, some tree taps, and just these iron plates. So let's get started with that. Uh, where did I put my hammer? It's right over here. Perfect. So we'll start by gathering, uh, say, four metal plates. Perfect. Uh, yeah, we're creating our extractor before we're even creating our, our generator here. That's a little bit weird, but uh, let's go here. Yes, I have some tiny charcoal in there. Pretty happy about that. Let's go over here if we can grab some more. So these things are getting filled up ugh, pretty fast here. I'm just running out of space with these things. I need a better uh, tanking solution right now. Thankfully, I've used a lot of it to create like these stairs and all that kind of stuff. So let's go back downstairs. Uh, this is... Nope, that's not what I wanted. Electronic circuit. So I need six of these. So we will probably create two or three here. And it's one copper cable. So for copper cable, I need cutters. For cutters, I need three iron plates. Okay, so let's do one, two, three. And two... Iron ingots. Uh, let's go here. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's way too much. Actually, I don't even know if I'm going to be using... Uh, we'll see. I need some copper. Oh, I got it. I keep forgetting it. Yeah, just for one. Perfect. Uh, six, I believe, is what I need. Nope. That's not, did, did I forget something here? Oh, it needs to be plates. Okay. 
There we go. And there we go. Energy flow. Yes, I've got the power. Okay, let's grab this here. Insulated copper. Uh, only six, really. Okay. Grab this here. And I should have perfect. I have what I need to make this now. Basic machine. That's that's a lot of iron plates. Ugh. I'm, I'm probably going to be running out of iron pretty fast here. So let's see about maybe putting some more in our. Ugh. No, let, let's start. Let's start with ore doubling. That would be a lot smarter than trying to make an extractor here with resin that I can just go over there and grab a bunch of resin. So yeah, we're gonna go with our generator and our macerator. Okay, we have this one. Now we need the diamonds surrounded by any, do I have enough diamond? Oh yes, I do. I was afraid there for a sec. Because at first, I did not have a... It took me a while to get these diamonds. Uh, two cobble, two flint. And then the basic machine casing, which is going to be... This. Uh, I believe it's eight, right? This. Machine casing. You on top. You on the bottom. And then, uh, one, two, one, two. Oh, got a little bit too much there. Too much cobble. Okay, we have a macerator. Now, does this thing require EU or RF? I'm going to guess here that it's going to require EU. So we're going to go and create the industrial craft generator so for that we need oh darn it we're gonna need eight of these again wow this is gonna burn through my iron so fast um so this is for that the re battery i need oh it's tin cable so i need tin plates here I do have some tin here. Okay. How many did I need? I I frequently forgot. Uh, let's just get a bunch for batteries, I guess. There we go. And it was this and this. Oh, wow. Three, really. Pretty cool. And we'll get... Uh, was it just one? I think it was just one. 32 EU per tick. I forgot how much the copper was. I think it's 32 also, right? Huh. Weird. Okay. Generator. Battery. Tin item casing. It's just forge armor and a tin plate. Perfect. One, two. And... Just two redstone. Grab a couple here. And we will have a battery. And we will have. Uh, I'm missing it. Oh, a standard furnace, really. Okay. There we go. Furnace. And then it was. These beautiful, costly iron plates. Furnace. Uh, where's my tin? Oh, no, it's the battery. And we have suitable power. Not extraordinary power. It's just suitable. Uh, do I need cabling between these two guys? Or can I just put it from one to the other one? I don't know. I know industrial craft stuff used to blow up if you're putting in too much power. But if you have a too big cable, I don't think it changes anything, right? Just 
let's see here. 128 for copper. Okay, so it's a lot higher than tin. Um, this generator, though, does how much power per tick? I'm hoping it's enough with just with tin. We will see. Okay, um, so I have this, I have that. Let's go try it out. Uh, I'll make it. Sorry, I'll make an extra furnace here. Seven, eight. Perfect. Oh, come here. Extra. Double trouble. What is he? Okay. Guess I need to make a furnace after a macerator or a generator to get double trouble. Um. Do I have some wood on me? I do. Perfect. Because something I, I forgot to make on top here is the table. So all I have is an empty storage crate here. And these guys here, as you can see, they all have a wooden storage crate and a crafting station next to it. So let's start over here. I need to be careful, though, because I know that if I'm, I try and pick these guys up, uh, I could be in a mess of trouble. So, start with this guy. Put this guy right next to it. 4K EU. How much do you generate? So, you haven't blown up. So, that's already a good start. Oh, cool. It's, it's not really telling me how much EU it's generating, but I believe it is probably 2.5. Oh, 2.8k EU plus 1.2, so it's 4k EU for one piece of... Uh, was it cold coke or charcoal? I think it's charcoal. So, pretty nice. Let's see if we put a piece of... I didn't put it in here, right? I did not do that, that mistake. No good. Perfect. Uh, let's just grab a piece of iron ore here. And if this works... Oh, it's doing something. Am I going to get two dust? Come on. Give me two dust. How much is it using for power? Crushed iron ore. Okay, this is not good. This is not dust. And it used 2.2, so 6.6k. So 600 EU. Ah, uh, what do I do? Okay, I can just smelt it. Perfect. Oh! There's a way to improve on our ore doubling with a thermal centrifuge. And you can make... Oh! Oh! A blast furnace from IC2. This is how you get steel for your flint and steel, guys. Okay. Oh, now we're getting it. Can, can I make a blast furnace? I, I have no idea. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Um... Let's create over here. So we're going to grab this. To create you here. Put you over here. I'm going to grab uh, this one. No, I'm going to grab this one. I don't know why this one is glowing. Uh, it was over here. And it got sucked into uh, one of my hoppers. And since then, it's been glowing like this. So, is it going to explode or something like that? I, I have no idea. But I put it down. You know, it's normal. If you guys know what it means, glowing, should I be like running for the hills or something like that? Just keep me posted on that. Because I've been debating just destroying it. But it, it just looks so cool when you pick it up. Um, and I do like the storage crates actually keep their inventory when you're moving stuff around like this. It is very, very nice. So, uh, we're going to need a bunch of iron. And we have ore doubling. So, we're just going to put this all here. 
And we're going to put just a bit of cold coke in here. Uh, is it a good idea? Because I'm going to be overproducing, right? Yeah, I'm going to be wasting power here. Ugh, this is too bad. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to keep burning. Yeah, it keeps burning. So we are wasting a lot of power right now. Actually, let's see if we're wasting power. Yes, we are. Okay, that's too bad. That is too bad. I can probably make a furnace, right? For an industrial craft. Uh, we'll look at that later. So. Blast furnace. We need... Uh... Forge hammer. This is iron, so it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh, of course it's seven. So eight right now. We're going to need, of course, this little cube here, which means eight more. Wow, I should have mined a lot more instead of creating this base. It is ludicrous the amount of stuff that I'll need. That's a lot more ores than I thought because I don't have any automated mining. I don't have any hammer. It takes a while to dig these tunnels, I gotta say. And and by the way, for everybody that wants to set up inside of the mining age, be careful, guys. Uh, it looks very peaceful. And then suddenly there's going to be a thunderstorm and there's going to be mobs everywhere. Also, if it's dark in here, uh, mobs are going to spawn. So I had created the roof of here. And I did not know that. So when I got back down, uh, half my base was destroyed because it was full of creepers and all that kind of stuff. It, it was hell. It was really hell. So today I learned. Well, a couple of days ago I learned, actually. Okay, we're getting a bunch of crushed iron ore. That's going to be very useful. So heat conductor. I, I've oh this this brings me back. I think this thing does not need power. It needs heat, right? Uh okay. So it's copper plates and rubber. So let's. Do I have copper left on me? I do not. So let's go downstairs and smelt our crushed iron here. Oh, and we're gonna get a bit more rubber. That's pretty cool. And while this works, uh, I was here to get, oh, copper. There we go. I'm going to grab uh, a couple of coppers. And we're just going to do that right here. We'll make some extras. That's okay. Uh, three plates, six rubber. Because I think we're going to need this one for the other, which is a heat something. Blast furnace? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. This this is the one that requires power. EU per tick, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the one that requires power. And it's a lot <laughs> more complicated to create. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is not getting done right now. Um... So that should be it, right? You, you, you guys. And I have a blast furnace. So I need something from industrial craft. Uh, that generates heat. So I need to look for these little electric heater. Sterling kinetic generate here four. Liquid fuel firebox. Nope. Solid fuel firebox, I believe. Oh, there's another one here. Liquid. Solid. Okay, solid fuel. Or is it the Sterling generator? Because the Sterling generator has that little tick here. But it's power tier 2. Huh. But it seems pretty easy to make. It's pretty much the, the opposite of the blast furnace. So if I had to pick between this guy and this guy, 
I'd pick this guy because it's the exact same thing. Just reverse. Right? Oh, uh, in my head, it's, it seems to make so much sense. Um, let's see. If I go here. One, two, three. Or D7 here. And then I need, I need a lot more iron. Uh, let me just get some... Do I have tiny coal coke? I do not. Okay. Let's grab some tiny charcoal here. Put you in there. Perfect. Okay, I need a little bit more iron. I only have five left. Huh. Okay, this is going to be pretty bad here. We're going to run out of stuff already, even with all the mining I've been doing. Uh, well, actually, we haven't processed all the ore that I have upstairs here, so... That's kind of... Oh, did I run out of power? Oh, I did. Okay. Uh, let's put some... 200? Uh, I wonder if we're going to get... 16,000. So this is 9 charcoal. And this is 10 charcoal. So it's one above uh, the other one. But that is pretty cool. So we're going to put... Since now it's completely empty, we're going to put this guy here. Actually put two and let him process all this stuff for us here. It should be more than enough. Well, no, it's not enough cold coke for what I need, but going to be enough for our need right now. Grab some more iron. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is what I need. How did I create this hammer anyway? Okay, very easy. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I still have what I needed to make it. Um, so now I'll need some rubber and some copper. Uh, a little bit of redstone too. And we're going to create the cutters. Copper cable. Perfect. This is what we need for our over here generator, I believe. Elect oh, I can even make an electric heater very easily. But that's power tier four. Oh, I'm so confused right now. Okay, let's... We're going to cheat a little bit here. And I'll just have a look just to make sure I'm not wasting all this stuff here. So, uh, uh, Macerator needs eight diamonds. That's okay. Also, to be able to craft the metal former. Why do I need the metal former? Uh, early game, solar panels, wind turbines. I know, I know. Blast furnace. It needs heat. Yeah, that's what I thought. Electric heater. Failed with at least one coil to convert EU to heat. So, it is the electric heater we needed to make. And I was going to make a sterling generator, if I remember right. That's pretty bad of me, I guess. Okay, so electric heater is less item casing, at least. So, six. We need four more here. And oh, how do I make this again? Okay, it's just one for one. Do I have a little bit of... I did not put any rubber in here. I thought I picked rubber. I'm trying to be really skimpy with my resources until I get some way to get more resources out of it. 
Of course, that means I got to do a lot of back and forth all the time to do this. So, usage. We're going to create. Well, I could create this guy right away, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I do need this guy. So, make that. And I believe I need the tin one for the battery. Thank you. An insulated cable. Uh, so four tin item casings. And two redstone. Do I have any tin on me? I have one tin plate. I need one more. Are you tin? Yes, you are. Don't don't go there. Okay, perfect. And I need more of you. Uh, that's pretty much it, right? Let's see. Yes, it is. Okay, so now all we need is our copper copper heat conductor here, which is three copper plates and six rubber. Do I have enough rubber? I have four rubber. Ah. Well, I know what I'm doing in between episodes. I'm getting a bunch of sticky resin. Ah, because this stuff needs a lot of it. Okay, copper plates. We need two more copper for that. And that thing's going to be done, I think. Oh, uses left four. So close. Guy here. Perfect. So, electric heater. We have our electric heater. Perfect. So, there's a direction with this stuff. So, you need to be careful which direction you need, you put it. There's a heat side and all that kind of stuff. I forgot which side is how you decide which way the heat goes, but okay. For now, do it like that. So, I need... A coil. I need a heat coil. Ah. Uh, heat conductor coil. There we go. So, copper cable surrounded by the iron ingot. So, very, very easy to make. I just need a whole bunch of copper. So, eight copper. Oh, that's exactly enough I need to make this hammer. Boom. And that's going to give me eight. And use all of this. Surround it by. And I believe this is like fuel the coil, right? It, it like use, loses durability with time and all that kind of stuff. Let's go over here. And let's put some more. Yeah, so two of them did 14. So, one, two, three. This should do the rest. Pretty cool. Okay. So, the heater first. Uh, <coughs> I think the direction that you are is where the heat is going to go. So, I want this here. I want... Coil here, not a coil here, and then I want my blast furnace in the opposite direction. So I want it like this. I think. Oh no! Oh no! This is bad. Oh, this is really bad. Um, I'm pretty sure this will not work. Okay, let, let, let's try it out, because here's the problem. If you try and remove these things, uh, they could actually break. And break in a spectacular way, which means you've lost most of the stuff that you've made. <clears throat> so, let's make... Uh, yeah, let's go make some cable to route power. And see if it works like that. I'm pretty sure you need to hook up the, the, the copper sides here. 
Uh, do we do I have a wrench? A wrench would lower the probability that I lose my item here. I should be able to create a wrench, which is oh, five bronze. That's pretty easy because I do have somewhere. Yes, I have a lot of bronze, as you can see. Oh, six bronze. Okay, we have a wrench. Perfect. <clears throat> so this is going to reduce the chance that we lose it. <clears throat> and you can also use the wrench to turn the your stuff around. So let's go over here. I should have some... I don't? Ah, oh, let's get more rubber. I think four is going to be more than enough. I have four machines, right? Yeah. That should be okay. Ideally, I think I should have moved the blast furnace and not put it there. So that I could have the normal furnace next to it, but... Meh. We'll see. Once I have a bunch of resources, I won't need to be so finicky with positioning and space and all that kind of stuff. But for now, you know, there, there's no miner, there's no automated mining, all that kind of stuff right now. There, there is one machine that I could use, but it's pretty bad, so we're just going to skip that one for now. Actually, I could... Ugh, that would cost so many resources to do. That would be pretty nuts. I wonder if I could use... What was I missing to make the progressive automation? Oh yeah, redstone, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's a way down. That's... Okay. That's not gonna get done right away. I think three should be... Sufficient. One, two, three. The last one doesn't use power, it uses heat. So... Okay, it has not blown up. So, this is good. And now this guy should be... Should be not do... Okay, out of power. Six here. Ah, don't, don't, do not punch. So now it should be producing heat. And... That's what I do, right? Blast Furnace? Where are you? Blast Furnace. 1,000 heat. Uh, but that's not the right machine, though. But I think it's kind of the same. Blast Furnace. So, yeah, just iron. I'm gonna make steel. It needs heat. This guy's producing... Oh, it's producing heat on these sides, not on... Okay, so let's see if this works here. I'm just gonna rotate it. Do I smack it to rotate it? Okay, like this. Oh, maybe it is producing heat. Yeah, it's producing heat from that that side here. So let's keep rotating, rotating. No! This is not what I was supposed to do. I broke my machine. Oh, okay, it's still a blast furnace. It's still a blast furnace. Okay, so let's go here. Okay, now this works. And let's go here. And I want to place it. No, this is not what I want to do. Come on. Don't, don't do that. I don't want to remove you. I just want you to get... Okay, maybe if I do this... And I just right-click it, it's going to flip on the other side. Why do you keep removing yourself? I'm so afraid to lose it. I'm so afraid to lose it. Okay. Let's put a block here. And maybe if we put it on this block, it's going to flip. Oh, yes. So am I getting heat now? Currently transmitted heat. 
Do I have heat? Oil. It's using a power. But this guy is not getting the heat. Okay, how does heat work? Come on. Uh, should I try and wrench it again? Oh, I'm gonna get... Uh, I, I feel like I'm being lucky right now that it doesn't break. Oh, okay, it is getting heat. Okay, okay. Good news, everyone. We, we are getting some heat right now. So, we'll put a couple of these guys in here. We'll let the power accumulate. Does it does it accumulate? Oh, this guy has 10k EU, so and I'm losing power right now. It's going down. So this thing is using more power than this generator can produce. So I probably need more than one generator. How much does a generator produce? Uh, I think it's 32 EU per tick, so I think we're going to need a second generator. I just want one piece of steel. J just one. Can, can you do that for me? Yeah, we'll put that here. Can you just heat up just enough for one piece? Put you here. Oh, it's almost out of power. That means it's not going to be producing enough heat, probably, to keep that heat meter up. Uh, we will see. We will see. So, I'll put a couple more in there. And we're going to go over here. Oh, no, not here. We're going to go down. Uh, no, we have our stuff right over here. What am I talking about? We have our stuff to double right here. So... Oh, I had more iron ore here. So, let's put this in here. I want to double up. So, what do I need to make a furnace? Or should I just make a second generator at this point? Oh, of course, this is using up the power. And now I'm not... Okay, this is not a good idea. This is not a good idea. I need to keep my, as much power. So, it's almost... You know, current and max heat, it's almost to the max with just one, so... At least we are getting some heat that's getting produced. And we'll see if we can get just one, one piece of steel. With that, I can go to uh, the nether. And in the nether... Uh, I'm not sure. What, what was I going to the nether for? I keep forgetting that there was something I needed. Was it netherrack or glowstone? Hmm. There was something I needed last episode or two episodes ago that I wanted to progress with. Oh, it's to make a blast furnace. Hmm. Or is it blast brick? Which is the powerless way to create. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I needed four slag and some netter brick, which is just smelting netter rack. So once I have this, and this is probably going to be next episode. Oh, blaze powder. Ugh. Killing some blazes. I don't have any ranged weapon right now, so I'll need probably to create a bow. Ooh, there is something interesting I can show you guys while this is... Uh, I'll just put one more here. Well, two more. Because I need the heat. So the coil doesn't seem to uh, be affected here. So it's not using durability and stuff like that. So that is pretty sweet. So I guess once the heat is max, it's going to use. It's going to work. Yeah, I don't want any upgrades right now. I just want one piece of uh, steel. We'll just wait for it and while we wait I want to show something to you guys uh ugh, it's gonna be way too far away I'm just better off just waiting for the, these two little ticks I found something uh, in the overworld 
for it. Or if you want to get like these basic iron, copper, and tin, uh, there are extreme hills. If for people who have been using my seed, there are extreme hills right near it. Okay, you're full. So you're you're, you're full of heat. So can you work now? One piece of so full heat, one piece of iron becomes steel. One piece of iron becomes steel. So your full heat. Huh. Okay. This is getting disappointing here. Maybe it's not, there's like an edge or something that it hasn't started to iron ingot, steel ingot. I don't need any purified crushed iron ore. Oh, so there's a way to pure, okay, it's just a crushed iron ore that you put in here. So this does not seem to work, guys. Um, pretty disappointed here. I don't need any fluid. And it seems that my heat is full, so it should be working. I mean, I'm not crazy, right? Heat, iron, creates steel. Or I could put directly the iron ore and one get one steel, that would be dumb. Or even the crushed iron ore, so let's try I'm desperate here. Nope. This does not work. Brushed iron ore. Does not work. Okay, so let's look at our book here. We're going to have to cheat again. That sucks. Uh, trying to connect the orange dot to the machines. Oh, I was dumb. Okay. Also needs universal fluid cells filled with air, which you can get from a... Universal fluid cells... Filled with air. It says no fluid. You don't need fluid. Ah, so I guess we need to make a compressor. Let's look at this and make sure we have... Okay, so that's actually pretty easy. Diorite, andesite. And we'll get our copper and all that kind of stuff. We do have a whole bunch of iron here that we can get, thankfully. So let's grab some of this. Let's grab a stick. Actually, let's grab a couple of sticks. And in here, we can create a new hammer. No, I'm pretty sure it was just two, two sticks, right? Hammer. Oh, treated sticks. Sorry. Go over here. Get some treated wood, treated sticks. And boom. Again, I messed that up. Perfect. So we need eight, I believe. Uh, was it eight for our machine? I believe it was eight. Let's go look here. Compressor. Yeah, so it is eight iron plates here, which means it is 16 iron. Wow, that is way too much. You're destroying my reserves here. Uh, two. Oh, I already had a bunch of plates. I am so dumb. Okay. I just keep making mistakes. So, electric conduit. We need our six copper. Create our tree plates. Our tree plates to create 
are six here. And I need three more rubber. Ah, I'm starting to get the hang of this. Okay, so once I have my three rubber, I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, just two redstone. The first click always gets me two. And then after that, if I already have the item, I get... Oh, of course, you gotta make me a liar. Of course you have to. Ugh. Okay, perfect. These guys here. One on each side. I know it by heart now. Uh, andesite, diorite. I've used a bunch of this to make all of these, but I still have a lot of it. And by the way, if you guys like black houses, just get uh, basalt. Basalt? Or something like that. There's, there's just so many digging downstairs. It's It's just incredible. So this here, this here, here, and that is a compressor. Epic squeeze. So, oh, let's let's look right away what I need to do. Liquid, uh, sulfur, universal fluid cell. More tin and a glass pane, so that's pretty easy to get. Go over here. This one, two, three, four, and a glass pane. Get this here. Uh, okay. I'll remove you. Okay, that was actually... But why do I need a compressor? Oh, I guess the universal food cell needs to be filled with air, and you need to put air in a compressor. Am I, am I doing this right? Let's go here. Put this guy here. And then we're going to need... Ah, we're going to need two more cables. Darn it. I miscalculated again. So do I have any more rubber? Ugh, I don't even know if I have any. Oh yes, I have a bunch. You know what? Just put a bunch here. I need at least one more uh, tin cable here. One, two. That's going to give me two, I believe. I oh, know, three. Perfect. That's going to be more than enough for what I need. I just need two. I hope it doesn't do anything bad if you're putting um, these cables to the the heater here. You're not you're not gonna blow up on me, are you? Okay. So a compressor. If I put that's some weird sounds. I don't know if you guys hear this, but pretty interesting. Oh, we're losing heat. We are losing heat. Uh, air. Okay. So now it is full of air. Very cool. So once this gets filled up, We'll probably, and I should probably just not do that so that it, <laughs> it keeps its power and sends it to the, as heat to the other guy there, but just wanted to have an extra one here. Oh, two. Perfect. 
Okay, it is now full of heat. Yes, we have a progress bar. We have one of the slowest progress bars I have seen in a very long time. Come on, come on. Okay, while you're doing this then, you're probably accumulating. Yes, you are. Okay. So just start processing this then. Ooh, you're still accumulating, really. Okay, well, let's use up this power. No, it, it's just, it costs too much. So once it's full of heat, at least, it's not using up all the power, I guess. But that's pretty sweet. So guys, uh, I I'm not going to get make you wait for this little thing here. Thank you very much for uh, watching me. We have been creating all these nice industrial craft machines. And we're finally going to be getting next episode a portal to the nether. In between episodes. Well, I'm going to get ready to hit the nether. So I'm going to get uh, maybe some armor. Uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to need it, but maybe a way to stay wet, <laughs> not, not die to fire here. I have no idea what it's going to look like at the nether. It could be, this thing is loud, okay. It could be that the machines are very strong or something like that. Uh, the, the, the mobs are pretty strong, like we had in Material Energy Natural Capital. Oh god, the nether in that pack was just ridiculous. Uh, hopefully it's just going to be a standard netter where we can just plink away at a couple of blazes and get what we need to actually make steel without doing this whole industrial craft process here. So guys, if you like this video, please press that like button. Subscribe for more content. I hope you guys like this new series. I've really started producing like a lot of videos. For people that were in my old series, you know that... You know, for me, making four videos in a week, this is a lot of content right now. And expect a lot more constant content from here on out in the age of engineering.